Now, right at the top, we have some breaking news coming in. This is in connection with the Pune Porsche horror probe. The lens is on the juvenile's mother at this point. We're learning that the Pune police are quizzing the juvenile's mother and the teen's grandfather and father, remember, remain in custody. And why exactly are they in custody? Essentially, it's because they had tried to coerce, made attempts rather, to coerce the driver to take the blame for this entire incident, this horrific crash in which two people had lost their lives. Now, remember, all all of this had garnered massive attention and massive criticism because right in the beginning, the juvenile had been granted bail in a period of 15 hours with very irregular bail conditions, including a 300-word essay. But as far as the probe is concerned, then this update in particular is about the way that the investigation is continuing with the lens this time being on the juvenile's mother. And we're learning that the Pune police are quizzing the minor's mother at this point. Now, remember, in connection with this as well, the teen's grandfather and the father all are already in custody, and uh, they have been remanded in custody, to custody, in fact, uh, recently in. Now, when it comes to the probe as well, one big question that remains is whether or not the juvenile is going to be tried as an adult. Now, whether or not that happens remains to be seen, but the families of the victims continue to demand for justice. And interestingly as well, when it comes to this entire investigation, an entire political nexus has come to light raising questions about the amount that money can actually do, especially when it comes to the loss of lives in such a tragedy as this. Now, the Pune police in this investigation are currently quizzing the mother of the juvenile and they are quizzing the mother of the juvenile in connection with this entire case when the teen's grandfather and the father are already in custody. Now, remember, in connection with this as well, there's been an entire war of words which has erupted where the opposition continues to demand, to demand for justice in connection with the case. Remember, there's been large furor over this entire case as many continue to demand that the juvenile be tried as an adult. And there's also a lens on the Justice Juvenile Board, uh, the Juvenile Justice Board which in fact granted interim bail to the juvenile in the first place after a period of 15 hours. And out of the three members who are part of that Justice Juvenile Board, there is a lens on two of the members, in fact.